only on four now. Our first look at the woman accused of causing the crash that ended with a semi-professional basketball player's leg being amputated. Gail Smith arraigned on charges today. Now, earlier this month, a Franklin County grand jury indicted 64-year-old Gail Smith for aggravated vehicular assault and operating a vehicle under impairment. NBC4 anchor Carrie Charles was in court today and has more on what happened here. Carrie? Well, Jerry, this afternoon, Gail Smith pleaded not guilty to charges in this case. Like since the incident in May of 2021, Smith is able to go home tonight after posting a $5,000 bond. You can see she tried to block our camera's view of her in court today. Columbus police say Smith was under the influence of alcohol and or marijuana when she slammed into AJ Davis. He'd gotten out of his car to help a homeless man on the exit ramp at I-70. That night, doctors amputated Davis's legs. Today, I asked him about his thoughts regarding Smith's not guilty plea, which came now more than two years after his injury. It's definitely a shocker. And like, I can just look at her and just tell like she's like, my grandmother's age, like, it's, so it's just, just a real shocker and all in all, just to finally put a face with a name. That crash happened just days after Davis scored 29 points during this game for the Columbus Condors. Last fall, I asked CPD about charges in this case. Chief Elaine Bryant ordered a review. Investigators referred the case to the prosecutor's office last November. Now, the file did not get entered into that office's system until May. That only happened because I asked for a status update. Entering the case into the system cleared the way for it to go before the grand jury. Now, Smith has been ordered to have no contact with A.J. Davis, submit a DNA sample by July 7th. The judge also said she cannot drive.